Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bare him no children. And she had an handmaid, an Egyptian whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. The situation is clear. Sarai is the wife of Abram, and Hagar is the maid of Sarah. It was a Middle Eastern custom in those times that a wife could give her maid to her husband, and the child thus conceived would be counted as the child of the wife. May be that I may obtain children by her. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. And he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And Sarai said unto Abram, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom, and when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. But Abram said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. Even after the agreement between Sarai and Abram in verse 2, Hagar is still considered her maid in verse 3. The language is important. It is not Abram who takes Hagar into his tent, but Sarai gives Hagar to Abram. Sarai is in charge. After Abram slept with Hagar and conceived, not only Sarai, in verse 5, but also Abram still talks about Hagar as Sarai's maid in verse 6, not as his, new, wife. Furthermore, the narrator continues to call Sarai, her mistress in verse 4. The phrase, to be his wife, in verse 3 is merely a euphemism for sexual intercourse. That is clear from the phrase that immediately follows it, as well as from the original request in verse 2. The context makes it clear that Hagar remained the maid, not of Abraham, but of Sarai. All throughout Genesis we find Sarai addressed as Abraham's wife many times, by the narrator, by Abraham, or by God himself. Hagar is never called the wife of Abraham, whether by Abraham, or by Sarai, or by God and only once by the narrator is already explained in 16 verse 3. The custom referred to in verse 2 is well known in history and for instance in Babylonian law, a wife was entitled to get children from her husband through her slave, without any idea that the slave would receive the status of a legal wife. In the Bible the same custom is employed again by Abraham's grandson Jacob with Leah and Rachel, his wives, and their maidservants Bilhah and Zilpah. 